Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to use the gradient tool from the Krita toolbox. Notice these first two images in our video. They are both created utilizing the Krita gradient tool. This Krita tool is sure to bring out the artistic nature if you are willing to spend some time with it. Now to some, this may sound a bit scary, thinking you do not have an artistic bone in your body. But I do not agree. You are the artist. So follow along and allow Krita to pull it out of you. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Once your new canvas appears, we know we will be using the gradient tool. So go to the Krita toolbox. But before clicking on the gradient tool, first we must prepare for its use. In order to do this, in the Krita toolbox, click on the Bucket Fill tool. Then, go to Tools and Options. Scroll down and put a check mark in the Use Fill Pattern. Go back to the toolbox and click on the Gradient tool. Then click on Tools and Options. Notice the section that says Shapes. Click the drop down menu and click on the square gradient tool. Now remember, you are the artist. So I will show and discuss how these credit gradient tools function and the ideas I had in hopes it will encourage you to go further. Notice the Krita gradient square I just placed on the Krita canvas. This was just a small click, hold, and drag. Let us change the color. Go to the color picker, choosing a different color. Go back to the Krita canvas, this time giving it a click with a longer drag of the mouse, and then release. Notice because I drew the line farther, then release, the size is much bigger. Now let us go back to the Krita tools and options. Click the drop down menu and click on linear and then back to the canvas. Notice the coverage I can get utilizing this gradient tool. Now let us return to the gradient drop down menu and click on bilinear and then back to the critic canvas. Notice the bar like looking line. I have gotten. Let us go back to the color picker and choose yet another color. Then back to the Krita canvas. Notice the longer the line drag, the larger the outlining border of the bilinear gradient tool is. Now let us return to the tools and options and click the drop down menu once again and click on the Critic Gradient Radial tool. And then back to the color picker to choose yet another color. Then back to the Critic Canvas, give it a line drag, and then release. Notice 
And so I give the gradient radial tool a longer line drag, the size changes. Now let us go back to the credit tools and options, clicking the gradient draw up down menu once again. But this time, let us try the Chronicle Symmetric tool. Notice as we give it a line drag and release. I know this looks cool, but we're not done yet. Take note on how this critic gradient technique is overlaying. It is like having chaos, but at the end, having plenty of order. Next, if you are following what I'm doing, go to the credit toolbox. Clicking on the bucket tool. Go to the canvas and give it a click. Now noticing this is not what I am looking for. Go to the title bar, click edit, and then undo. At any given point, you add something and you do not like it, you can remove it using the Krita Undo feature. Next, go back to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Color Selector tool. Go to an area on the canvas you would like to use, ours being the lightly colored green, and give it a click. Then go back to the toolbox, clicking on the Brush tool. Then back to the Krita canvas. As we paint around in the areas that are left white, but notice how our brush gets darker in certain areas, but stays light in the lighter areas. If you feel your brush could be larger, go ahead and adjust your Krita brush size as we have done. Once this is done in Krita, in the toolbox, click on the gradient tool once again. And then go back to Tools and Options. Click the drop down menu, scroll down to Shaped, and click. Then go to the color picker, choosing another color, ours being red. Return to the Krita canvas, giving it a line drag, and then click. Then go back to the color picker, choosing yet another Krita color, ours being blue. Then go to the tools and options. And in the gradient drop down menu, click on square. Then to the Krita canvas, give it a line drag and release for placement. We placed three. Then go back to the color picker, choosing yet another color, ours being yellow. Then go to the tools and options, this time in the gradient menu, clicking on the bilinear tool. And then to the Krita canvas, placing the size you would like and as many as you would like, we chose seven. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the gradient drop down menu. This time, choosing the square. Place as many as you would choose to. Then to the toolbox, clicking on the bucket tool, then to the Krita canvas, give it a click. Not what I'm looking for, so let us remove this. So let us try clicking on the Krita canvas a little differently. Ah, <laughs> there we go. That is better. Notice now only the areas are getting filled that I want. 
Now let us go back to the toolbox, clicking on the gradient tool once again, and then back to the credit canvas, adding more gradient squares. You can add as many as you like. One of the most important parts of this video is to go back to the credit toolbox, click on the bucket fill tool, then to tools and options, scroll down to use pattern, and take the check mark out of the box. Still being on the bucket tool, go to the credit color picker once again, changing the color. We chose blue. Then go to the credit canvas and give it a click. Well, there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and the extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out.